three types of thermal energy transfer. Now, first of all, we're going to need to do a bit of revision. In solids, we know that the atoms are arranged in regular patterns and they just vibrate in place. They don't move through the material, they stay where they are and they vibrate in place. In liquids and gases, there's more space between the atoms and the atoms aren't fixed in space and they can move around. So that's why they're called fluids, because they're able to flow. Okay, so solids, the atoms are arranged in a regular pattern and they're fixed in place. In liquids, there's more space, about 10% more space, and the atoms and molecules can slide past each other, and therefore they're able to flow through the material. In a gas, most of the area is empty space. Okay, which makes gases very compressible. Now then, an iron bar is a good example of a solid. It has atoms of iron arranged in regular patterns. We've simplified those patterns here, and we've also made the atoms look a lot bigger than they actually are, obviously. Now, if we start to heat this iron bar at one end with a Bunsen burner, the vibrations of the atoms will increase. They'll start to vibrate a lot more. And as they vibrate more, they'll pass these vibrations down onto the next atoms along. And that's how the heat passes down the iron bar, because as the atoms at this end vibrate more, they collide with the atoms next to them and pass the heat down the iron bar. Now, in fluids, what happens is something different. You heat this corner of the fluid here, so we'll heat this corner of the fluid, heat this corner here, and the molecules in this corner, they move about faster. So they spread out. This corner here spreads out and becomes less dense, so it's able to rise. Okay, so heating this corner makes the atoms here, or the molecules here, move around faster. So they expand, become less dense, and because they're less dense, they're able to rise. Now, when we get to this corner here, we get cooling. This cooling makes the molecules move around slower, so they contract overall. So this part of the fluid becomes more dense and therefore it sinks. So it's a convection current. You get convection currents. Finally, we have radiation. And in radiation, basically, where you need particles for conduction, collision in conduction, and spreading out, and becoming less dense, and rising and circulating in convection, in radiation, the Heat energy is carried by electromagnetic waves. Right. Splendid. Heat flows from areas of higher temperature to areas of lower temperature. That's what's happening here. We're heating up this end of the bar, which is becoming hotter because the vibration of the molecules is increasing, and that heat is passing down the bar by conduction. Here we're seeing in convection, we're heating this corner. This corner is becoming hotter, so that heat is then travelling to the coldest corner over here, and it's cooling the molecules over here, and they're then sinking and coming back down to be warmed up again. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the molecules of an object. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the molecules of an object. Right, now finally, we're going to do the thermal energy transfer dance. Conduction, collision of molecules passing on energy, conduction. Convection, circulation in fluids, energy being carried by circulation in fluids. And finally, radiation, whereby the energy is being carried by electromagnetic waves. So, conduction, convection, Radiation.